Hi, I'm Jonathan Metter, and we're here in Pico America Service Department with new products for the month of July 2016. We've got a lot of new products for you. First off is a German uh, train set. This is a new freight train set, and it's our first set with a diesel locomotive. This is the nice little V20 diesel loco. Uh, it's got the dark green scheme, which is very handsome. Uh, this is equipped with sound. It's got a neat little diesel sound system. There's a switch on the bottom for the sound volume control as well as an on and off switch for the lights. It's got reversing uh, lights on each end with three lights in front and three lights in rear. And it's got the cool side rod action, uh, great little loco. And we'll, we'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, it's pulling a uh, gondola car, which you can put nice uh, loads in and things. Uh, it'll carry almost anything. And of course the car that gets everybody's attention is the, uh, the low side gondola carrying a little East German Trabant car. Uh, that was the car that everybody in East Germany wanted to have and they'd saved their money up. So now it's a kind of a cult status car, uh, like a VW Beetle is. Uh, so everybody uh, remembers those very fondly, even though they were horrible little cars. But uh, it's, it's kind of an icon. So a uh, great little set and we're going to couple this up and move right along. And a great car uh, to add on to your European layout or uh, to add on to your new uh, V20 diesel starter set will be one of the new UCE uh, cement silo cars. This is a really unique car. Uh, these were actually very common in Germany and all over Europe used for hauling powdered goods like cement. Uh, they had two silo shaped uh, containers that held that. This has got a lot of detail with uh, cool railings and things. So great addition to this set. We're going to give it a try. Besides some European items, we've got a ton of new American items for you this month. Uh, first up is a container car for the Pennsylvania Railroad. Uh, Pennsylvania was one of the first to move into container era in the 1950s. And it's got nice opening doors on the container and a nice detailed flat car that carries it. Next up is a work train car decorated for the Santa Fe Railway. Uh, this has, as uh, many of our cars do, removable sides and removable positionable toolboxes that you can uh, put on there as you wish. Uh, that'll be a great addition to your Santa Fe work train. Keep things running on the railroad. Next up is a Pennsylvania high-sided gondola car. This carries a very nice load of uh, pipes and these are all neatly stacked up uh, with the wood blocking between them. Uh, these are a beautiful load and something a little bit different uh, that you don't see every day and that's going to look great on your railroad. Denver and Rio Grande was famous for some fantastic scenery, so we thought you'd need a, uh, a nice open sightseeing car for your little G-scale tourists to enjoy the scenery on your Garden Railroad. Uh, so this car is a flat car with some low sides and it comes with uh, eight little benches that your figures can have a seat on and enjoy the scenery. And our work cabooses have been very popular, uh, so we now have a new Union Pacific work caboose. Uh, again, this one, just like the others, has uh, positionable sideboards and toolboxes. And with the addition of metal wheels, or better yet, ball bearing wheels uh, for the electrical pickup, and an, a lighting kit, uh, this can have the lighted markers and lighted cabin interior, and will look great at the end of your work train. The Union Pacific Railroad was certainly a big part of the American West, and still is today. And we're celebrating that with a passenger train uh, for this month. There's a complete train. First off, uh, we're going to start at the back end of the train with the drover's caboose. And this has our nice lighted marker lamps uh, with green to the sides in front and red to the rear. And lots of cool details such as the uh, opening sliding doors and the cool roof walk and handrails. Uh, great end of the train. This is a passenger coach car. Uh, it's lettered for Green River and each one of these cars uh, except for the baggage is named for a, a town in the Old West in the Wyoming Utah area where the Union Pacific route ran and this one is Green River to go with the Grover's Caboose uh, Medicine Bow. Those are great old names from the West and nice car with beautiful details. And this is a combine car uh, lettered Echo Canyon and again like the uh, Grover's Caboose it's got nice sliding doors on the, on the baggage compartment 
and it'll be a great part of the train. And at the front of the train, right behind the locomotive, we'll have a baggage car, uh, with the, again, with the sliding doors, and that'll make a great looking train. And no train is complete without a locomotive, so this month we have a beautiful Union Pacific Mogul Loco, and this is decorated kind of in the uh, late 1880s, 1890s, uh, early 1900s period when the paint schemes were becoming a little bit simpler, not quite as much color. You see the, uh, the more simple block lettering instead of an ornate lettering style. Uh, but there's still some gold trim on the logo, so it makes a very handsome, uh, elegant, uh, understated look. And I think you'll be very pleased with this on your railroad. And of course this has all of the, the features you've come to expect in our uh, American Steam Locos. Uh, it has that great soundtracks, digital sound that works equally well on DC, uh, analog DC, because most of you operate with that. Uh, it's got the, the trigger for the bell and whistle uh, activated by the track magnets that, that snap into the track. And it's got a volume control in the tender here under the water hatch for the sound and a switch for the smoke. And of course it has reversing lights on uh, front and rear and that fantastic working smoke. We're going to use our digital system just to uh, control the features here. And we can show you the bell. Got to have the bell started up before you begin the move. And two toots of the whistle is the proper signal and forward. And last but not least, we've got two new buildings in our River City series. These are built-up buildings. They come from the factory all assembled. Uh, one does have a little bit, little sign that you need to place in place that has pins to locate it. Uh, and this one has a, uh, a sign here that you need to apply, just peel and stick. And then they're ready to go on your railroad. And this is the J.C. Squires livery stable. And it has nice big uh, opening doors in the front uh, to get those horses in and out. And this is Shin's Please All Billiard Parlor. And the big stir, of course, in River City is the new pool table that's causing trouble in River City. So those will be great additions to your layout and great additions to the River City series.